Okay. I need it. I do need a haircut. Yep. Mm -hmm. What's up, my peeps? How's it going? Jen here has the day off today, so we're gonna go get some breakfast sandwiches, and then then I got some work to do. It is cold today. It's freezing. It's like I got the jacket going. I got the wool socks going. It's a, not a toasty one. It's the opposite of toasty. It's a cool. I don't know what you would call it. It's a freezing day. Just had some banging breakfast sandwiches. We've never been to that place before. I got a smoked salmon breakfast sandwich. You know when smoked salmon is on a bagel, it's just called lox. Well, then I had a lo I had a lox sandwich because <laughs> it's smoked salmon on a bagel, so it's a lox sandwich. So we got a, a lox sandwich. I think the best smoked salmon or lox sandwich that I ever had was probably in Montreal with Gabe. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from work. I got like maybe about an hour left of daylight. I'm a little bit of a time crunch here, but we'll try and make this work. This might be the reason why some of you are here. We're gonna go out and shoot on the C200. I'm only gonna shoot this sequence in 120. I haven't been shooting slow-mo in a while, and when I had this last week, I didn't shoot it except for some client videos, but I really wanna mess with it on the channel and just get a cool sequence with some sound design and all that stuff. Can only do 120 at 1080 on this thing, which is the 8-bit codec, so we're shooting MP4. I am gonna take my H1N with me so I can grab some sound design, so so anytime I get a shot of something, after I get that shot, I will also grab an audio clip of whatever I took. For me, sound design is so important. I love capturing the Nat sound, and I, I think it's very crucial in order to take your viewer into your sequence, really bring them into what you're seeing and what you're hearing. Hit as many senses as you can, not only the sense of sight, but the sense of hearing as well. It's very important. That's what we're gonna do. Let's get it going. <laughs> Before we get into a little recap here, I'm gonna do comments of the day. That comment's from Austin. Austin said, that intro just scared half of my class. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. I don't know if I said it before, but I was shooting all that on the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter. Most of it was shot at 35 millimeters because I wanted to get as shallow as a depth of field as possible. One of my favorite features about this camera is the built-in NDs. Normally when I shoot on the Sony a6300, I use this guy on this lens or the lens that I'm shooting on now. Having an ND filter in front of your sensor rather than in front of your lens is just gonna give you a cleaner image. One thing I haven't really messed around with on this camera is 4K60. That's pretty dope. I should probably mess around with that in a few days, maybe, potentially. I don't know, we'll see. Probably gonna do it. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, smash that keyboard, subscribe if you aren't already, ring the bell, and we'll see you soon. Peace! I love Polar. Polar's banging. We got unicorn kisses. You should check out that uh, video I did with Cody and Jack where we like floated down a river and ate pizza and cake and just had a grand old day. It's called the Unicorn Squad. So, celebration of that. Cheers. Fruit punch and cotton candy. That's definitely what a unicorn kiss tastes like. Definitely uh, fruit punch and cotton candy. Going with that. All right, my peeps. Thanks for watching. Peace.